Big, 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 huge loss. Let me pour my drink. R.I.P. Nipsey Hussle. Yeah, man. I, I, I wish we could him, play music. I call, Facebook gonna block us. I yeah. don't know how anybody else would feel, but I call him the new king of the West Coast. Mm. Because right now, technically... So he beat Kendrick? To me, he runs L.A. Okay, I'm not arguing. He not does. arguing. Kendrick, lyrically, I'm not taking nothing away from Kendrick. He's a, Right. But when you talk about... We don't see Kendrick in the community as yeah, much. When so you I'm talk not. about somebody who influences the culture of right. L.A., yeah. you're going to think of Nipsey before you think of Kendrick. You, you might think of Pink Drip, too. King Come Pink on, drip. on the East Coast. <laughs> yeah, King Pink Drip be out there. King Pink Drip be out there doing this thing. Yeah. But nonetheless, sh- prayers to the family of Nipsey Hussle, mm. Lauren mm. London, his mm. children, mm. 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 everybody on who was affected by the death of Nipsey Hussle. It was a tragedy. It doesn't even matter why he was killed. It's just the fact that he's dead. That, that I'm really that, getting my feelings about this. That that fucked yo, me. Like, like, that, like I'm, yo, I'm some real shit. I, I'll be honest. I had a whole live about it. Yeah, I saw it. And I was, and, and I, like, I was 100 percent like yo. When you everything you said, Dame, I was bro, sitting there and I was just like, I'm, I mean, me and Nipsey, I couldn't even comment, bro. Me and Nipsey, we roughly the same age. We we've been, you know, on the same type of independent grind pretty much our whole lives. Um, and then it really blows me when when you get to the point that you actually are helping and doing the right shit like because everybody complain about all right you got your takashi six nines and the people that's talking mm. fuck shit you know and and, and and they selling records because they talking bullshit mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying but but when your music is it's music low-key is fucking positive bro it's reporting it's what's going on positive. low-key it's high key but it's not only positive, is it positive it's about but it's amazing building, and he's, then, pro- he's promoting growth positivity ownership building and, then, and he's he's helping community it blows me because family because we are doing not that we're doing what he's doing yet right but we're we're, but on we're the doing ver- we're, we're, on we're the, in that we're, like, in the, we're in the footsteps of that I bro we're I, fucking building businesses yeah we're, we're positive right. black men yeah. doing mm-hmm. good shit independently all of us josh you bro like all of us you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day it blows me that you finally get to the point where you know like he was a millionaire yeah you yeah. do you realize like he's a, a self-made millionaire from helping most people don't even know <laughs> what the fuck, dog. Like he was doing, he was he was promoting his Yo. own shit so much that he sold. He had a mixtape and he sold what is it, a hundred mixtapes? And he for sold, a thousand dollars. He sold each mixtape for a thousand dollars, and Hove himself yeah. fucked with him so much that Hove bought a copy of his mixtape yeah. for a thousand dollars. Yeah, it's just smart business. It's great business. And just thinking outside of the box. It's supply and demand. Y'all want me so much? Okay, bet. Cool. I'm, I'm only making a hundred of be, my mixtapes. It's gonna be so limited. This music, these next twelve tracks, are gonna be so limited. That you I'm gonna charge a stack. Must charge and because stack because y'all want my music so bad, I'm gonna get a hundred people to buy this. And he did. And he took that money and then flipped it, invested it, bought a block, yeah. opened yo, up businesses, hired ex cons, hired artists, hired whatever whoever he could find. Whoever it was, it don't even yo, to to to, to fund the business. The neighbor, yo, my, everybody working the, the, the shit was business. I mean, uh, was was artists and, and yeah. local people. What, what, what I'm what I'm gonna say is this, hurt, and man. and I take this straight from um, what's dude name? New York rapper. Damn, I, I'm drawing a blank. I'm what? drinking shit. You say start over. Start over. The, the gun guy. No. Jesus Christ! Start, boom, 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 from boom. The, no. start from the beginning of your statement. New, New York, York rapper, rapper. Jay Z. No, he's Nas. also Crip. He's also. Oh, you mean Davies? Davies, thank Davies. you very okay, much. Right, I'm, I'm over. Right, right. Davies said. Dave, no, Davies said everything that I was feeling. He said that Biggie and Pac shit. I was dead for that. I was too young to feel it. Right. But I feel this. Right. That's and that's literally how I feel when they're talking about the whole situation. It's like right. yo. Like, I, everybody, like, claims that Pac was the, uh, whatever the case may be. I was a baby when it happened. I was four. You feel me? So, you like, I, I, impact I learned had. about it, but I didn't, I wasn't there for the impact. I feel like this is kind you, of what that impact was. You were seven, but go ahead. He didn't die in 97. Died in 96. He was born in 89. He, so, I was six. I'm sorry. You said you was four. Cool. <laughs> whatever the case may be. Either way, I wouldn't have remember. That's a fact. It wasn't my time. No, that's a fact. I was a baby. I didn't feel that. I've learned about it. 
I've learned to understand and, and respect wanna, it. Right. But I'm a little bit this older. This is what I feel. I'm a little you bit older. You felt both. I'm a little bit older, but I you still felt more than Pac died. Shut up. He felt more than 86 both. now. He felt when Martin died. <laughs> um, <laughs> All that. No, nah, I was still young when Pac died too. Pac died in 96. Um, I still was only. Uh, fuck was on Shout out to Darion on the check in. What's goodie? Maybe. 14? No, I wasn't even that. Maybe something like that. I mean, something mm. like 12. So but it was tough in, for me. You was in college when Pac died. Oh, come me. on. But you I was taking pre-cow. Right, right. You I was taking pre-cow. <laughs> I was taking pre-cow. <laughs> pre-cow, <laughs> pre-cow, nigga. Pre-cow. He was in trigonometry three. My dude, <laughs> Mac Lord, was good, bro. Um, <laughs> what is matter? <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking trig, nigga. I'm in. <laughs> what is matter? <laughs> no, nah, I mean, I remember the Pac death. Um, the, the Nipsey death for me is personal only because now... Like I, I'm agreeing with with you and what Davey said. Um, I'm older than Davies, so I do remember when Pac and Biggie died. But I was still young to where it didn't affect me. I was mm. like, oh, I was like, this is big because everybody talking about. And it. I was like, oh, this must be fucking huge. Mm. But I wasn't like, oh no, you ain't know the impact that it yeah, would have. Yeah, yeah, like I, I was, I was sadder when Michael Jackson died versus I get it. Pac. Like, mm. if it just I was sadder when Michael Jackson died. Me, Chicago, I would say I when James Brown died. But I get it, but he was like 97. So it was like, all right, all right. I get it when old people die. Like, you know what I'm saying? No, real quick. What you? Oh. Oh, okay. No, no, no. You know, you good. Um, the Nipsey Hustle thing bothered me because I, I look at Nipsey as a peer. And I'm talking like a peer who's surpassed what I've done so far. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's us, but just done did it. Mm-hmm. And then you're doing the right thing. Bro, like that's what fucking me up all the time. Blows me more than the fact that you're doing it. You're doing what your parents tell you. Listen, you're if, doing what you supposed to. If if you out here, yeah, Barty <laughs> blowing my right now. <laughs> Jesus Christ, nigga, listen, you want if, a napkin and a straw? If you nigga. out here, if, listen, if you out here extra boisterous and you just just obnoxious and nobody like you and it's just mad shit going on, it's like, all right, cool. You one of the people who deserve to be targeted, but when you actually just promoting growth and promoting Chilling. strength and you promoting Chilling. community and you're building a community and you're building the block that you come from and like, like for, this intersection used to be a part of the I'm murder capital of the world up. and now it's a it's an upstanding great community that people walk through and walk their dogs and like everybody's like when when you're that guy and they kill you it's like bruh you know what, what, he what else no, real quick my, my 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 mindset is what do you have to do to make it Right. What the fuck do you have to do to actually make it? Right. Because now it's like, yo, bruh, this was the guy. Right. He's like, he came from this neighborhood. It's the exact dream that every song in hip hop is talking about. Exactly. Like, it's exactly what it is. I made it out the hood. I I made it out the hood. hood. I built businesses. I came back. I helped people. I brought money to the hood. And we all loved each other. Bruh, but did you. Now you're dead. Did you see the extent of of his businesses? Yo, boy. I'm, I'm, I know you was about to talk. I'm sorry. I'm before that. But did you see the extent of his businesses? The shit was ridiculous. It started with a clothing store. Fine. We black. We urban. We get it. Clothing store. Boom. Got you. He was like, oh, I got a restaurant right here. He was like, I now have a media company. He was. He had a workspace. We just left a workspace. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? The type of place where you come and you build and you set up to do meetings and build. He probably had a workspace. The next shit was like, a, it was a media. I, fo- I forgot what it was. I'm sorry. Be so mad because I get here and I forget. But he had a media company, media company, workspace, clothing, restaurants, all in the same block where he hired everybody from the block. Legitimately, he hired a former um, homeless dude. Yeah, and had him. And his job was just to clean just up the block. Just clean up the block. You saw he, yep. all he did was sweep the block. Mm-hmm. He like I pay you just sweep. And the dude was so excited. Like I, I work for Cause, Nipsey because I got a chance. I got a chance. Neighborhood like, Nip, bro. You. You saw that, okay? Hook you saw that. Yeah, hook me yeah, up with a job. Yeah. Neighborhood that shit is nip. crazy, bro. Like, Boy, you don't kill that guy. You don't kill that guy. You, you don't know kill that guy. You want to you know? I, and I said this to one of my Fuck. homeboys when I was talking to him about this whole Fuck, Nipsey. Like that. You know who Nipsey remind me of? And Jason would 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 more understand it. Maybe it really the game. Hurts, man. You know? You remember the dude in the hood who got all the money, and he'd always put the team, the hood team in. He'd front the hood team. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's who Nipsey Hustle reminded me of. Cause the I remember basketball team? Yes. Gotcha. I remember in the summertime, there was always the nicest kids on the block or in the hood that yeah. played ball, but they couldn't play in the tournament because they didn't have a coach they or they didn't yeah, have a team to because right, it was right, always right. a certain amount of money. The dude who ran the hood, who was who fucked with the hood, he'd always front the money and be like, you know what? I'm gonna choose all the seven nicest little niggas in the hood. How much is it for a team in the tournament? I'm gonna put seven, eight hundred dollars for it. Don't right. worry about it. I'm gonna buy y'all jerseys, buy y'all Gatorades, and I'm gonna coach y'all. Right. Y'all five start or whatever after the game, 
you know what? I'm about a winning team and a losing team pizza after the game. Right. You know what? Whoever won the tournament, I'm gonna have the whole park lit, have ice cream, have 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 food. I'm gonna have a DJ out here. I'm gonna have a bouncy house after that. Because he was just that type of a nigga. Because right. he just a, he just a get money nigga. But because he fuck with the hood so much and he don't want to see the little niggas doing anything crazy, he gonna do what he got to do to help the little nigga. Not just the little niggas, but anybody. Right. You got you need a job, you know what, bro? Now you're gonna be my personal janitor. Go in my crib, I'm gonna give you a couple hundred dollars. Just go clean wash my car for me. Instead of you going to buy this crack with this bread or go rob somebody for this money, go wash my car for me. Yo, I need you to go to the dry cleaners, go pick this up for me, then drop it off in my crib. Then after you drop it off in my crib, I'm gonna need you to go pick my whatever it is up from the store for me. He was that type of nigga just trying to help. Darion said we can do the same thing he was doing, his ideas didn't die. And I said, and that's the next thing I said to my homeboy Walla, who was a huge Nipsey Hustle fan. I said, it's unfortunate, but people don't understand his death has probably tripled the amount of people that he. <laughs> so what? He's tripled. 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 I said tripled. No, you said tripled. 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 We know each other way too much because I heard it. I was like, I didn't even say nothing. But you knew what I meant. <laughs> but I'm over here like, what? It's probably mixed with another word. Right. But the thing is that tribally. Pee pee pop a poo. But I was, yo, I, <laughs> we hang out too much. That's what it is. But I said, you but it's together. And what do you got? Bippity bippity boo. Yo, come on. <laughs> he tribally did what? He affected so many people and motivated so many people by his death. It's crazy. Unfortunately, he had to die. No, I hate mean, the fact that he had to die. You know, you, okay, so 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 let's 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 be honest here. Um, us as black folks, we need to stop. We need to hold each other more accountable. That's oh yeah, one hundred percent. And pressure Brown for the, that the, one. What, what I was saying, Brown for that. Drop a bomb for holding each other right? accountable. We need that. We need to hold each other more accountable because when it happened, everybody was so quick to throw in. Conspiracy theories about this. No, 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 no. But but hit me up. No, but let's talk about it. We gotta talk about it. Let's talk about it. We were so quick to say it was the CB documentary and it was the government and it was a no. The nigga died. No, period. No, no, we get that. No, we get that. We get that part. But I gotta talk to. I gotta talk to another psyche that us as black folks always do. We always put up our front that it's not other black people that's just fucked up. We just out here being fucked up. Oh no. Okay. Black folks. Okay. So let me go. That's fact. We need to stop with the putting pointing the fingers at everybody. Oh, they did this and they did this and they were aiming at us. No. Sometimes it's just really messed up. Black folks in our Not community that don't want to see nobody win. Crabs in a barrel. A- exactly. So we need to talk to those. Do you know those. what people are saying with, about that? They're saying that the Bro. government hired him. This is how they, Yo. they're going that Yo. far. Wait, wait, Yo, can, wait, I no, be no. Real, can I be real honest? Because it happens every day. Bro, <laughs> you, you, got, you got the big homie on the block. The That's big right. homie on the block said, Yo, you're not allowed to come around here because we don't fuck with you. And then that person, one day he snaps. That person that's ostracized snaps and like, you know what? I'm gonna get you. And he got the he got the time and the space and the opportunity to get him. And that's what happened. That's all what happened. All right, all right. I'm not I'm not disagreeing with you, but that's I do have to, I do have to say, upon more research, I found out that that guy who was a known snitch, mm-hmm. um, shitty cuz I wanted his name. Yeah, I got yeah, Eric Holder. About him. Thank you. Eric, Eric Holder is his name. Fuck AKA Eric Holder. Shitty cuz. Fuck Eric Holder. Apparently, for, fuck apparently, Eric Holder. Nipsey wait, wait, was wait, talking about quick, him. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, we got a plot. No, no, I hit, I hit no accent. All right, his no, name no. is Shitty. Yeah, that, no, how do you? Have... No, his name your is Shitty. Shitty Cuz. Shitty Cuz. No, that's hilarious. <laughs> known I, rat. I known got a, informant. I got a couple of Shitty Cuzes in my life. But anyway, your name Shitty Cuz. Nah, but all I'm all I'm t- calling <laughs> Shitty, shitty Loke. <laughs> <laughs> shitty Loke. Shitty Cuz. Like you, all, Shitty. All I'm simply trying to say is. Upon further research, I found out that he was in jail, actually, and mm-hmm. and and since he was he's an known, informant, he's an informant. Yes, right. He's so an hold informant. on, so hold on. So imagine, and I'm not, I'm not a conspiracy theory person. I don't know. I'm so goddamn gas. What nigga? <laughs> you <laughs> take it forever. I'm shit. like burp, 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 nigga. Shit. All right, no, no, no. Um, he was in jail. Mm-hmm. He got out. Mm-hmm. So they was like, well, why'd you get out? You know what I'm saying? And so the thing that got him out of jail, it's like your first task is to shoot him. And, and if you watch the video, he shot. Ran off. Ran off. Came back. Shoot came him again. back. Shot him again. To make sure the job to was done. To make sure that it was done. So yeah. that's why everybody is like, oh, no, that's a different type of hit. I'm not saying that it's a conspiracy. I'm just simply saying that 
I don't know why or how or even if it's true, but mm-hmm. it looks like like this ain't something air in the block. This ain't some vendetta shit. Yo, fuck you, bro. Da, 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 da. No, well, well, okay. this is some. So what, what I'm this saying. This is some. It is my purpose to kill you. Period. And, no and, matter what. And, hands well, down. And what That's I'm, my purpose. And, and what I will rebuttal with That's that. Different. What I what I will. Rebuttal, and he was in prison. Okay. What I will rebuttal is. He wasn't locked up yesterday and came out today and then killed the nigga. That's no, not what happened. It was out. something he, like that. Though. No, it was not. Roughly. Nah. It Th- wasn't. Honestly, this is what happened. Okay. Talk to me. The man was on the property. Nipsey pulled up and was like, yo, I don't want you around here, bro. We know what you do. Period. If you a crackhead and you see a crackhead on the block, you're like, right. yo, get away from my shit because I know what you do. Period. He called homie out for being a snitch and told him to get away from his shit. That's what exactly That's literally what really he true. did. That's what happened. What okay. the snitch did He was, said, I'm going to come back. Don't worry said, about it. Don't I'm worry. I'm going to be right back. And guess what? He came right back, right. killed homie, mm-hmm. and then kicked him because he did kick him in the video, mm-hmm. which makes it personal. Mm-hmm. He ba 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 kicked him, and then ran off. Mm-hmm. Shitty cuz. Right. But the crazy part is. That's all I see. I see even I've been in the projects Facebook. my whole life. I right. know what is. There's what a beef picture. Is. There's a picture. There's several pictures actually of Nipsey Hustle. Nipsey Hustle and his like his set. And Shitty Cuz is in a picture with Nipsey Hustle. Like no, they were cool but at they one all, point. They all, just because you in a set with somebody don't mean you cool but they with everybody. Were cool, whatever. But this is Nipsey was cool with him at one point. One. Two, apparently Nipsey was talking about him in a couple songs on Blue Laces on the on Victory Lap. He was talking about him specifically on that song. Karina said they didn't want Nipsey to bring the gangs together. Because you know that two, like th- that was the day before he was going to have a conversation with the police. But, but to about, that, but they, to, me that's, old. Old. That's to me, that's old. To me, that's we, old. We, we've had so gangs, many blood and yeah. crypt days. We've had so many alliances. If you want to be real, you, you know, know who did that like, before that? The Snoop game did, did Snoop did Snoop that? Snoop the did that? The game did that? They all did that. I know I so many times. In LA, I'll be bugging because I'm like, they got the coolest gang bangers ever. Exactly. The way it looks. Yo, the game, Snoop Ben did that. The game Ben did that. Right. Like that's Mad old news. Times. That's not nothing the, new. The gangs to come together as one. That's old news. That's so I, old. I can't say that they they didn't want the, they didn't want peace and unity in the streets. Like that's old already. That's been done. Casanova been doing that long time ago. Like this. Uh, it's like a it's long story. Long story short, all I need to say is that us as black folks, we need to stop. We need to hold other, other black accountable. folks accountable because we don't do that. Hurts, Every man. time something happens, we always want to blame the finger at the other guys. And, oh, that is this. We need to look no. at each ourselves, I, bro. I, I, listen, if I'm wrong, I would gladly recant my statement. But yeah. as of right now, I don't feel like I'm no, wrong. You're not, bro. I, listen, I, I will I, agree. We're not wrong I, listen, about this I, one. Listen, I don't, the, the fact I, that a I do shot not, period. I do oh, not man, think hurts. that it was, a, it was a hired government official. It was on a hit. I don't think that it was... It was some freaking Dr. CB document, nah, I a documentary. Either. I don't believe that. I believe that. It was just an angry black man. It was an nigga. angry black man that was kicked off of the property of another black man. He said, yo, I'm going to come back and get you. And because that happened and because we don't want to see nobody prosper. And you know what's funny? The people that's closest to you don't want to see you win. Facts. Mm-hmm. Well, pe- well, technically, yo, we the closest to you right now. I want to see you win, brother. Look, okay, but come on. He's not saying that all the time. He's saying there's people. Uh, more uh, more times than not, the yeah. people that are closest to you don't want to see you win. The people that are in your neighborhood, the people that lived in Marcy Projects when Hove was coming up. Yeah, they was like, oh, yeah, Hove is my man, but they want to see that man win. Unless they because wasn't, why if they wasn't him? breaking bread with him. Why him? That's a fact. Why not me? I'm from the same project. Well, I'm from the same situation. Right right. Now. I want to see you win. It's the, it's the same thing. It's like no us. This crabs in the barrel mentality got to stop. Crazy. Because now the people who are actually spurring change and the people who are actually doing things in our community, they're gone. And we sitting here lost. Chickens with a head chopped off running around trying to find and what to do. The, I, but these people who had the answers and the people that are trying to help, they're gone. And now. then what makes it so we much worse, do better. they had, I guess people were trying to do a memorial thing the next day at his in at his lot. And somebody, that shit got shot up. It got shot up. A couple people got stabbed. Nobody died, though. But it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. fucking matter. I'm just listening. Why is it there gunshots at a memorial? Come on, bro. Because, like, uh, well, I because mean, what? Do you want to know the real answer for that? Come I'll give you the real answer. So I don't ni- even care. Okay, yeah. I mean, the, the nigga answer is, is because we know where they're going to be. And if you're trying to hit somebody, I'm just saying, that's, that's the nigga shit. And that's So stupid, we have to fix son. that. Yo, we got to get better, we have- bro.